quick video. How do you make more horsepower on this 2003 540i 4.4 liter engine? This one is actually M62 TUB44. How do you make more horsepower and not spend a lot of money? Oh, well, this is how you do it. You buy a 97 parts car 540i and you get these exhaust manifolds from both sides you get the intake manifold this is a non vanos engine this non vanos engine has a wider bigger flowing uh, or higher flowing intake runners this is the vanos and this is the non vanos and you can see that non vanos port is slightly bigger See the edge here? This plastic on the Vanos one? On the Nan Vanos it's not here. So it's slightly bigger runner and that will give you slightly more horsepower. Top end, that's the other side of the exhaust manifolds. And you get the exhaust system from a 97. Why is this exhaust system better? Because you can take it apart in the middle of it I think in 98 or 99 it's one solid piece the complete exhaust and as you can see here it kinda joins from outside two and then goes into one 2000 and uh, uh, 1999 has just one pipe and that's more restrictive so with these down pipes they're less restrictive you'll make more horsepower on uh, 98 and or 540i also you'll try to get a shorter ratio differential for quicker acceleration see this one right here this is 281 this is from automatic but either or you want to get a 315 open or you want to get the differential from the M5 E39 which is really expensive what that will do it will uh, make the car accelerate quicker because it's a really heavy chassis as you, as you can see here I'm taking this one all apart taking all the parts I mean I bought the whole car for like 500 bucks so I'm gonna be able to use a lot of parts from it and get my money out of it. So basically, it's all free mods. When I then I, I can sell it for my uh, 2003 Cadillac converters. I can sell them to scrapyards, and then that's how I can get my money out of it. But the reason why these manifolds make more horsepower because on a on a 98 or 99 newer, these go into one pipe and they're going into pre Cadillac converter so it's really restrictive so this will kind of uh, make it flow better but uh, from the factory these both of these engines the non Vanos and Vanos make a, like uh, 298 horsepower no 289 horsepower then where's the difference the difference is when the BMW checks these engines uh, for the horsepower they check it at the crankshaft on a, on a dyno on the engine dyno that is separated from the car and they use special kind of headers which means that uh, uh, they don't test the horsepower on the crankshaft with the factory exhaust system and the headers so you're gonna lose that horsepower right there another upgrade is 84 millimeter throttle body from N62 it'll just fit in it's uh, You'll flow better and you'll, you'll just have to change this uh, electrical plug. It's really cheap at the junkyard so pretty much all the upgrades that I can do to this engine is, is come out to zero dollars for me. And I'll push this engine up to 300 horsepower. So you don't gain a lot of power, you gain maybe 11 horsepower at it, maybe a little bit more, but every little bit helps. if you're pulling the engine out to do the chain guides might as well do all, do all those upgrades 
I can do my own uh, ECU upgrade on this one I can turn off the rear oxygen sensors and uh, EWS anti-theft system and much more so and I also bought this this is the m -Tech, I believe I bought it for 350 bucks it has the chain guide issue so I'm gonna have to do that that's how you do it folks that's how you do it Please like and subscribe this video if you like this information. See you next time.